Oromia Agriculture Federation and the Ministry of Public Enterprises have signed an agreement. And from abroad, South Korea's ex-leader jailed for 24 years for corruption. Hello, viewers. These are the headlines. I'm Adi Sobaba. Now the news in detail. Agreement has been signed between Oromia Agriculture Federation and the Ministry of Public Enterprises to create market linkage. Oromia Agriculture Federation has bought Asala Malt Factory, winning the bid at a cost of 1.3 billion bur. Fakad Brown has the story. Oromia Agriculture Federation has purchased a Sala Malt factory with 1.3 billion bur. Till now, it has paid 478 million bur, which is 35% of the world price. Federation has signed a memorandum of understanding with Ministry of Public Enterprises. The agreement is signed by Dr. Grimamante on the side of Ministry of Public Enterprises and the Professor Nagasa, head of Oromia Agriculture Federation Board, on the side of the Federation. Dr. Grimamante said that owning the factory Factory can play an enormous role for the Federation in increasing market linkage for farmers. This is unique because farmers can present their product for their own factory. This is important to create market linkage for our farmers. Dr. Girma adds that the factory has been presenting malt for the whole beer factory across the country. The Oromi Agriculture Federation has been working to create modern farmers. The malt produced by the factory does not satisfy the country's need. So we have been importing additional malt. Therefore, the factory do not have market problem. Asala Malt Factory has got more than 100 million per profit in 2016-17. Head of the Oromia Agriculture Federation Board, Trufesa Nagas, suggests that factory has been playing great role in creating job opportunity for citizens. He underscored that the Federation would work to expand the factory. We want to expand our factory more than this. To do so, we have full confidence because we are working with our farmers to get barley. Therefore, we hope we will have enough effort to expand it. Chief Executive of the Federation, Aska Burj Balai, for her part, underscored that the aim of her Federation is not only purchasing the factory, they are also working to transform agriculture. We are working to transform agriculture to industry. Our Federation has food factory, maize factory, and now we proceed to barely factory so we are very happy in purchasing this factory state minister of healthy dr kabada work said works are well underway to strengthen healthy extension program dr kabada work and the representative of world healthy organization ethiopia dr akpa kakalu has briefed the media in connection with the celebration of world healthy day alma bain has more World Health Day is celebrated per annual April 7 at international level. State Minister of Health Dr. Kebeda Worku and representative of World Health Organization in Ethiopia Dr. Akabaka Kalu briefed the media concerning World Health Day. Dr. Kebeda said strengthening health extension program is very important. <laughs> We have two health extension exports for one vicinity village, but we have been working to enhance this at least to four exports. We will also work to improve their education level. Dr. Kabada added the health extension program enabled to prevent 422 mothers out of 100,000 and 67 children out of 1,000 from day so far. Maternal and child mortality rate has been dwindled due to commitment made by our health extension exporters. Dr. Kalu, for his part, said Ethiopian health extension program is exemplary for other African countries. And we have examples in Africa. Ethiopia is one. In terms of physical access, the investment of this country in the health extension program is a model for Africa. Director General of the Oromia Urban Planning Institute, Dr. Dadi Wadajo, said residents' role is dream for the successful implementation of urban planning. Holata Town Planning that serves for the coming 10 years is prepared. So, check up on more. 
Holota Town Administration said the Sarlatan Master Plan for Holota Town is prepared by experts of Ormia Urban Planning Institute. The new master plan is prepared to answer the huge residents' infrastructural questions and to make the towns attractive. The master plan is presented for residents for discussion before its implementation. Some residents participated, participated on the discussion said that the new master plan has a great role in the development of the town. The master plan you prepared for us is good and prepared by experts based on trust and all inclusive. Because of this reason, we accept happily. Residents asked some challenges and the problems in the implementation process. But still, we feared regarding its implementation. There might be a group of individuals who want to use this who want to use the master plan for their own profit by implementing legally. About compensation of land is missed here. The compensation issue should be raised seriously because the people demand is increasing. In reverse, the land asset is diminishing, so it should have to get appropriate attention. Mayor of Holota Town, Gennet Bayena, said the appropriate attention should be given in the implementation of the master plan and called on the residents to be by the side of the town's administration to eliminate the raised problem during the master plan implementation. They need to have master planning to avoid a number of problems which created by misunderstanding. Therefore, we hope that that we did in the right way, she said. Director General of Ormia Urban Planning Institute, Dr. Dadi Wadaju said, the discussion is obligatory with residents on the master plan to implement appropriately. By understanding the town residents' demand and by forecasting the development of the town using the correct data, we are working to avoid problems concerning the master plan. The town used to the first master plan in 1974 EC and to the second master plan in 2000 EC. The master plan for the third time is expected to serve the town for the coming 10 years. The news comes to you from OBN. Let's proceed to the news that we have got from abroad. South Korea's former president Park Geun Hui has been sentenced to 24 years in jail after she was found guilty of abuse of power in court. The verdict was broadcast live and represents the culmination of scandal which rocked the country, fueling rage against political and business elites. Park was also fined 18 billion US or 17 million US dollars faced a sting of corruption charges. The former leader was not in court on Friday for the verdict. She has boycotted arterial hearings and has previously accused the courts of being biased against her. She has also denied all wrongdoing. Judge Kim Soo Yoon said Park had shown no sign of repentance after causing massive chaos in the country. We cannot help but sternly hold her accountable, the judge said. The move by the authorities to allow Friday's verdict to be broadcast live was unprecedented, but they cited extraordinary public interest in the case, the BBC reported. That brings us to the end of the edition. Thank you for watching and have a nice time with the remaining OB in Voice of the People's programs.